welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the best songs recorded by R&B superstar Usher. Girl, I was dead and you were my baby. Number 20, Moving Mountains. Is it any surprise we're kicking this list off with a song about relationship problems? Few can write a song about being unlucky in love like Usher. And Moving Mountains is a behemoth of a ballad. Over rattling drums and bass and delicate keys, Usher croons about a romance gone south. Though this obviously wasn't his first time tackling this subject, the passion he sings with makes you feel his heartbreak fully. And the electronic flourishes are tastefully incorporated, accentuating Usher without overpowering him. Don't touch me, I don't touch her. We really even ever see you. I really wanna give her everything she deserves. The vibe took away to go. If you know what it's like to have someone you love turn into a stranger, this song should resonate. Try that he's Number 19, I Don't Mind featuring Juicy J. It's not unfair to assume that a song about an exotic dancer featuring hip hop legend Juicy J is going to be a bit on the crass side. As soon as you shake it, I know they gon' make it colossal in here. Rain in his Cause shawty, you thinking them tricks that you do with your body. But while I Don't Mind might not exactly be a feminist anthem, it is surprisingly sweet. Usher tells his main squeeze that he doesn't judge or feel insecure about her line of work because he's confident in the strength of their bond. He also acknowledges that it would be hypocritical for him to get upset, given that he met her when she was performing. Juicy J's verse brings some different energy, but the core message stays intact. We don't mind hearing this song at the club. Shawty, she just want a tip. I just want to see a strip. If you fuck me like you love me, shawty, you might get rich. Number 18, Hey Daddy, Daddy's Home. Usher was ahead of the curve on the daddy trend. This banger from his Raymond vs. Raymond album has it twice in the title and plenty more times in the lyrics. So my lady say, hey, 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 daddy, hey, hey. So my lady say, hey, hey. You don't need to pay very close attention to the lyrics to know that this is a song about sex. But Usher knows how to make a steamy song in a way few others can match. Steamy but not smutty and erotic but not distasteful, Hey Daddy is a song that could fall apart in the wrong hands. Fortunately, it's in Usher's hands, and they know how to handle such sensitive subject matter. Number 17, Think of You. Many pop stars, even the biggest ones, need some time to find their footing in the industry. But Usher established his voice early, and his second single is a perfect example of that. Released when he had just turned 16, Think of You is a song brimming with confidence. Usher's vocals shine as he sings to an ex about how much he misses her. In other words, it's a classic R&B song. But he nails the charisma and presence needed to make the subject matter feel fresh. And it'd be an impressive effort by a 20-something, let alone a teenager. Though this song doesn't fully indicate Usher's eventual superstardom, it does suggest he's destined for big things. All the time I think of you, someone new. Number 16, More. An event like the NBA All-Star Game deserves a song that's as hype as possible. And on more, Usher delivers all that and, well, more on this heater. Performed at the 2010 iteration of the game, it's the kind of track arenas are made for. Create the feeling that keep them coming back. Yeah, I create the feeling that keep them coming back. Usher projects his signature voice with pure swagger as he sings about just how driven he is. And the triumphant production is the perfect match in terms of energy. Though the passion is already off the charts on the original mix, the Red One Jimmy Joker remix turns things up even further. If there's one thing we can count on Usher doing, it's giving us more than we were anticipating. Number 15, My Way. 
No, this isn't a rendition of the classic ballad made famous by Frank Sinatra. Instead, it's another example of a young usher showing just how much flair he has. I do any and everything you want to make your girl say ooh ooh. How much? Well, he tells the boyfriend of his new love how much better he is at providing satisfaction. Jermaine Dupri, who produced the track, also provides an uncredited guest verse that furthers the fearless taunting. Badass, senoritas, two seaters with kicks, new kicks, it's all in the mix, all turn, no tricks. We can't claim that the concept behind My Way is particularly ethical or mature. But Usher's audacity and the catchy beat are just impossible to resist. Now, can you imagine Sinatra's version? Say whatever you want, but she's still gonna give it up. She likes it my way. Number 14, You Don't Have to Call. Few singer-producer combinations are more enticing than Usher plus the Neptunes. Even before Usher has fully kicked into gear, Pharrell Williams and Chad Hugo's unmistakable sound marks this hit as a keeper. It's okay, girl, be right Written by Williams, You Don't Have to Call is an Usher two-for-one, both a breakup song and a club song. After being dumped, he decides that rather than wallow in self-pity, he's gonna go out and have some fun. Let's play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Usher avoids coming across as bitter or vindictive towards the other person. Though he might still be in pain, he knows that time heals all wounds, particularly a broken heart. Number 13, Caught Up. If you were paying any attention to music in 2004, you remember how much of a blockbuster Usher's Confessions album was. But while Caught Up might not have the same legacy as its chart-topping brethren, it's still one hell of a song. Emphasizing the album's theme of infidelity, Usher and the urgent production puts you in his shoes and in the moment. A sudden burst of infatuation finds him not thinking straight. He can't explain what exactly is happening or why. All he knows is that he's enchanted despite his better judgment. Once again, Usher deftly manages to make a theoretically unsympathetic narrator bearable. Probably because we're so caught up in how good this sounds. I'm losing control. This girl's got a hold on me. Number 12, Love in This Club featuring Young Jeezy. Inspired by Sin City and written specifically for the ladies, this slow jam was the first single from Usher's fifth studio album. After all, the female fanbase had dipped significantly upon Usher's marriage to Tamika Foster, but an opening line shout out set the tone for the gentlest of club bangers. You see, you're searching for somebody that'll take you out and do you if the singer's voice didn't provide enough sizzle, Young Jeezy was brought on to deliver rhymes that complemented the seducing vocals perfectly. On what you want, what you want, what you need, on what you need, you got to trap, got to trap, set you free. Hitting number one on the Billboard Hot 100, this successful tune proved that Usher still had it, even more than a decade after the release of his debut album. In this club, make love, yeah. Number 11, Confessions Part 2. Are you ready for some real talk? Contrary to popular belief, this Jermaine Dupri produced track wasn't about Usher's breakup with TLC's Chili, but rather a character study about a cheating man with an insatiable appetite for sex. And I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta give part two of my confession. Usher confronts the realities of unplanned pregnancies and the mental preparation that comes along with delivering the news to your girlfriend. Trying to figure out when, what, and how I'm gonna let this come out of my mouth. In other words, Confessions Part 2 is an eloquent way of saying, Did I do that? Stay safe, my friends. Didn't know what to do. Number 10, You Remind Me. We've all been there. You meet somebody cool and you like the way they look, but their face conjures up memories of a bad relationship. Such was the case in this Usher track when he delivered the awkward news to a potential flame. Lyrically, You Remind Me references a woman on her creep, 
and how she was just sexing it up all over town. With then-girlfriend Chili in the song's music video, the song won Usher his first of many Grammy Awards and found its way to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. You remind me of, you remind me of a girl, yeah. hey. Number nine, Oh My God featuring Will I Am. Truly a jam for the millennial crowd, this song was written by Black Eyed Peas frontman Will I Am, who appears to drop a verse as well. Fell in love with honey life, my oh my, honey look you wonderful, fly so fly. The concept of Oh My God focuses on the club, and a particular honey that's popping and dropping like it's nobody's business. Although Usher isn't exactly sophisticated when describing this woman's appearance, one can't blame him for losing his mind on the dance floor. Baby, I can break it down. There's so many ways to love you. Together, the tandem of Usher and Will I Am turned Oh My God into one of the most popular joints of 2010 and created another number one hit for the R&B superstar. Number 8. Nice and Slow Usher was barely 18 years old when he recorded this rather provocative single, but he showed skill beyond his age. Equipped with a voice that would make Al Green blush and lyrical game comparable to Marvin Gaye, Usher released the ultimate foreplay song for a new generation. See, I've been waiting for this for so long, making love until the sun comes up. Nice and Slow is exactly that nice and slow, and the tension builds as the singer prepares to get freaky. Every time that you roll with me, holding me, trying to keep control of me, nice and slowly, you know, never letting go, never messing up the flow. With a remarkable set of closing rhymes, Usher established a style that would make him a mainstay on sensuous slow jam playlists. I just wanna take it nice and slow. Number 7. DJ Got Us Fallen In Love featuring Pitbull. Kicking off a new decade, this song referenced the club in the opening line and laid the foundation for another Usher banger. Sure, DJ Got Us Fallen In Love isn't necessarily a lyrical masterpiece, but it was designed to keep your body moving long into the night. You got Usher hitting the high notes and then boom, Pitbull arrives with his own unique style of rhyming. In the music video, Usher straight up works the dance floor by getting his crump on, and you are bound to do the same when the song hits the speakers. Number 6. My Boo A duet with a singer as powerful as Usher is a hard ask for any performer. But if there's anyone who's up to the task, it's Alicia Keys. On this number one hit, Usher and Keys share and trade vocals as they sing from both sides of a lost romance. Both had already proven they knew how to make a poignant tune. Their forces combined result in a song so good, it makes us want a whole album of duets between them. Breaking up is hard to do, but songs like My Boo make it go down a bit easier. Number 5. Climax Though we were still Usher fans in 2012, we didn't know if he was still capable of surprising us. That question was basically answered by Climax, which quickly entered the Usher canon. And even more than a decade later, it holds up amazingly well. A tender and daring song about a relationship in decline, Climax boasts both one of Usher's best vocal performances and some of the best production on any of his songs, courtesy of Diplo. sound was partially inspired by the weekend's breakout mixtape, House of Balloons. But Usher doesn't sound like he's chasing trends, only showing how seamlessly he can adapt to new eras. Number 4. You Got It Bad Based on a conversation between Usher and his producer, Jermaine Dupri, this sex-funk single examines the effects of being sick with love. 
In the opening lyrics of You Got It Bad, Usher reveals the lessons learned from his mistakes before directly addressing the listeners. Said you act like you're ready, but you don't really know. And everything in your past, you wanna let it go. You might say this jam is a musical case study on being dependent on another in a relationship, as Usher details how one can just spiral out of control and quickly lose their cool. I'm your man. You're my girl, I'm gonna tell it to the whole wide world. The singer's ex flame Chili makes yet another appearance in the music video, as both parties clearly have it bad. You got it, you got it bad. If you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's off track. Number three, Burn. Speaking of Chili, the title of this slow jam references the unraveling of a once steamy relationship. By combining his own life experiences with those of his friends, Usher created a powerful breakup song with Burn, which earned him another Grammy nomination. She said this relationship when I'm hurting, baby, I ain't happy, baby. Shot at the former Hollywood home of Frank Sinatra, Usher took cool to a new level while reflecting on his rather chilly love life. No, and I let it go. Just like old Blue Eyes himself, Usher handled himself with class and just let this one burn. Number 2. You Make Me Wanna It's been said that nice guys finish last, and of course, nice girls often do too. With this billboard smash, Usher addressed the desire to leave your partner to start a new relationship. The thing about was you and how you make me wanna leave. With a fresh beat from Jermaine Dupri, You Make Me Wanna introduced Usher to the world, and his equally fresh dance moves made him the next big thing in pop music. I, I don't wanna go, don't need to stay, but I really need to get it together. The lyrics are undeniably relatable, and the music video was destined to become an MTV sensation. And so, the legend of Usher Raymond was born. You make oh, me wanna. Oh, you make, 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 you make me, me wanna. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Good Good The lead single from Usher's latest album sees him alongside newer stars Summer Walker and 21 Savage. There Goes My Baby, a great showcase of Usher's falsetto. Dive we absolutely want to dive into this chorus. But I promise God I ain't afraid, no, no. It's raining inside your bed. Here I Stand. This Grammy-nominated ballad earned comparisons to Stevie Wonder himself. Just remember that no matter how far I go. Poppy Collar. If there was ever a song that called for collar popping, it's this one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Yeah! Featuring Lil Jon and Ludacris Ursher, baby! Truly a pop song for the ages, this monster jam united crunk-tastic Lil Jon and the hip-hop giant Ludacris. People simply lose all control when this song is played, and its enormous success led to a number two ranking for Billboard's most successful tracks of the decade. Lyrically, Usher sings about a shorty getting low, and Ludacris wraps up the joint with spectacular rhymes about milking cows and booty popping. These women all on the prowl. If you hold the head steady, I'ma milk the cow. Few jams bring the energy like Yeah, which won the Grammy Award for Best Rap Slash Sung Collaboration. Usher Raymond, the definitive master of club bangers. What Usher song do you have it bad for? Let us know in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.